Social factors Cultural components Cultural components or social factors include activities of man that can affect his social environment. He has, by his various activities, changed the biological community and the physical environment according to his needs. He has developed factories whose emissions and effluents are responsible for the deterioration of air, land and water. Modern machines have also led to many environmental problems. He has built high buildings that block natural light. He uses more fuels, electricity, water, etc. These are adversely influencing the environment. Because of human activities, our present environment is no more a natural environment. It is now largely a man-made environment. Hence, it is also known as socio-cultural environment. In other words, the socio-cultural environment is the result of technology development made by humans for their comfort and enjoyment. In this process, man has damaged the natural environment and has created a threat to his own existence. Pond Ecosystem Constituents of Pond Ecosystem It is a well-demarcated area containing water persisting year after year. Pools and puddles are not ecosystems. They are usually temporary, produced by rain or by overflowing rivers. It has a varied mixed life. Plants, fishes, frogs, insects, and even bacteria, etc. Food is the primary need of all organisms and it makes a food chain starting with the green plants, that is the food producers growing in it, some growing along the borders, some on the surface of water, that is the floating plants, and some even underwater, the submerged plants. Plants make their own food by photosynthesis, for which they require the raw materials, carbon dioxide, and water and the solar energy through sunlight. The oxygen given out by the plants as waste during photosynthesis is utilized by animals for respiration. Plants serve as food for the animal life. These are plant-eating fishes, insects, etc. The plant eaters, that is herbivores, serve as food for larger fish or the frogs, that is the flesh eaters called carnivores. I hope that's clear till now. Let's carry on. Constituents of Pond Ecosystem 2. Some of the organisms, both plants and animals, may suffer death for some reason and they too are either eaten by some animals or they sink down to the bottom of the pond. There are numerous bacteria and fungi which decompose the dead remains of the animals or plants and replenish the nutrients both in the water and in the soil. Soil also is as much a component of the pond ecosystem as any other component. It is of use both to the plants and the animals growing in it in different ways. Thus, pond is a house constituted by the non-living components, soil, 
water, outer atmosphere, as well as the sunlight it receives, plus the living components, which are animals, plants, and microorganisms found in it. Also remember that all ponds are not alike. Some located in hot regions, some in moderate warmth, and some in cold regions. They all have different kinds of life, but their general interrelationship is same. The food producers and the food consumers. Forest Ecosystem Food Levels in the Forest Ecosystem 1 In a forest, again, like any other ecosystem, the general chain of relationship between the organisms is same, that is, the food producers, plants, and the food consumers, animals, depending on them. Forest is a large area of land with a dense growth of trees and the underbrush covering, consisting of a large variety of shrubs, bushes, grasses, etc. All these plants produce their own food through photosynthesis and are therefore categorized as self food producers, more technically called the autotrophs. Auto means self, troph means food. Next, there are plant eating animals, that is, herbivores, such as deers, rabbits, pigeons, parrots, or even insects like grasshoppers, crickets, butterflies, and bees, etc. They all eat the plants directly or eat their flowers, fruits, etc. or even suck the plant juices. All such animals are ranked as primary consumers, meaning direct plant eaters. Next to the primary consumers, there are animals like tiger, lion, wolf, lizards, snakes, some birds which capture the herbivores and eat their flesh. Such animals are categorized simply as carnivores or technically the secondary consumers. Food Levels in Forest Ecosystem 2 Consider another possibility in a forest involving one more stage of food level. Grass, that is the producer, is eaten by grasshopper. Grasshopper, the primary consumer, is eaten by a frog. Frog, the secondary consumer, is eaten by a snake. Suppose the snake is eaten by a peacock, then the peacock is another next level, that is tertiary consumer. All such food levels are called the trophic levels, meaning food obtaining steps in a food chain. Eating the dead all the different trophic levels animals die due to one reason or the other. If such dead material is not eaten by the dead putrefying flesh eaters, that is scavengers, it is broken down by bacteria and fungi in the soil, thus helping in the return of nutrients back to the soil for the plants to grow. Thus, whether in a pond or in a forest, the chain of the types of food obtainers will generally be the same as follows. Producers, that is green plants, eaten by primary consumers, that is herbivores, 
eaten by secondary consumers that is primary carnivores eaten by tertiary consumers that is secondary carnivores flora and fauna of forest ecosystem flora means the plants naturally occurring in a particular area and similarly fauna means the animals naturally living in that area flora and fauna of a forest can never be seen throughout the world forests of very cold regions of moderately warm regions and those of hot regions will have their own particular types of plants and animals so a single description cannot serve the purpose let us take three examples from india gir forests in gujarat the flora there there is kinds of large shady trees such as people acacia neem etc some wild bushes and grasses fauna animals like bears dogs cats rabbits crows kites vultures and the most significant animal the lion next jim corbett national park in uttarakhand the flora there is various kinds of trees including the pine tree shrubs and grasses fauna along with various other types of animals especially the tiger next let's consider jalatpara sanctuary in west bengal the flora various kinds of trees including banyan trees fauna various kinds of animals and birds and specially the rhinoceros